possible. Let's take you live to Parliament now. The Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, on his feet after Milton Dick has just been elected as the Speaker. Uh, you are someone who has always conducted yourself uh, with extraordinarily, extraordinary propriety and conducted yourself in a way in which uh, you engage with people across the chamber, across our caucus, uh, across the cross benches, I note, uh, the very fine words by the member for Kennedy in support of your nomination uh, shows, I think, with the result of the ballot as well, that you've been able uh, to already show even some new members uh, that you will be someone who brings great dignity to the office. Uh, to the former speaker, I thank you for uh, your speakership. Uh, it was very difficult following on from uh, the former member for Casey uh, who's in the chamber here today, who I believe was an absolutely outstanding speaker and, uh, and conducted himself uh, with incredible dignity in what, what was often uh, a very difficult time, particularly during the pandemic as well, where uh, the rules in terms of, uh, of the way that this parliament conducts itself uh, were set aside on a bipartisan basis just so that we could continue to function as a liberal democracy, uh, which is so important. Uh, to you, Mr Speaker, I'm absolutely convinced that, that you will be outstanding as well. Uh, there's no doubt that you're someone who's honest. Uh, you're someone who has uh, been a friend of mine for some period of time now. And you're someone as well who has been a wise counsel to myself as leader of the opposition in my former position. I thank you for the support that you gave me to hold that high office and have that great honour of leading the Australian Labor Party and throughout what was a difficult last term, uh, provide counsel as uh, part of uh, the group of people uh, who would engage uh, across uh, the caucus and be a bit of a sounding board uh, for people. Uh, one of the things I've noticed about you is that people uh, will come uh, to you for, for assistance and guidance. And that's something that uh, a speaker needs to do. Uh, the office needs to be open for any member of parliament. There are, I forget how many new members there are here. 30, 35 new members here. Um, <laughs> thank you, Mr Speaker, already showing your capacity. <laughs> For me, Mr Speaker, 76 was the only number I was focused on. <laughs> and, uh, and we got 77. I thank the member for Gilmore for that. Um, but going forward, uh, new members in particular, um, you know, I encourage them. When I got here, um, being a, a, a dork of parliamentary and political processes, I actually read the standing orders before I got here, read House of Reps practice. Uh, the rule book does matter in terms of getting things done. It's not just a matter of pedantic being pedantic. I know that from time to time there have even been criticisms passed in this place that people are, are too concerned about parliamentary processes. Uh, that's how rules are made. That's how, <laughs> indeed, that is, that is how laws are made in this country. And it is important uh, that uh, this parliament operate in a way that brings pride uh, to people. In many countries of the world, uh, people stand in front of tanks to try to get the right to vote. In Ukraine at the moment, uh, the people of Ukraine are standing up against an autocratic regime uh, which is engaged in a brutal and illegal invasion. They are standing up for uh, democracy in Ukraine. Uh, for us here in this parliament, we should be very proud that we had an election on May 21 and we had the swearing in of a new government at 9am on the Monday morning. And uh, I was able to represent Australia at the Quad Leaders meeting with the Foreign Minister. That brings credit to our system as a whole, that you can have a seamless, orderly transition of power uh, in a de democratic country. Uh, that's important. It's important that we respect, though, the fact that uh, we didn't elect uh, just uh, one party. We elected a range of people to this House and to the Senate. And uh, those views need to be able to be heard 
and hurt in a way which uh, produces better outcomes. And your role is to ensure that that happens as well in an orderly way. So I congratulate you very much, Mr Speaker. I look forward uh, to working with you and I look forward to, uh, to uh, your, your rulings and deliberations being absolutely fair and, uh, and, and correct, as I'm sure uh, they will be. It's a great honour to be Speaker of the House of Representatives. Well done. Thank the Prime Minister. And I give the call to the Leader of the Opposition. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, on behalf of the Opposition, I extend to you a very sincere congratulations. And, uh, of course, it wasn't difficult. Uh, you're a fellow Broncos supporter. Uh, so, as a Queenslander, it's great to see you in the chair. I want to pay tribute to uh, the member for Fisher for his time in the chair. He was uh, following in the footsteps uh, of a giant in this place, uh, the member for Casey, who I acknowledge in the chamber here today. The member for Fisher was able to conduct himself uh, in an equally honourable manner. He is a person who, uh, like the Prime Minister and many others who hold the traditions of this chamber close to their heart, uh, he was able to exercise his rulings and uh, his practice in this chamber uh, on that basis. Uh, I want to, Mr Speaker, um, say to you that there are uh, many people that, uh, who know you well and I uh, am very pleased uh, to have seen you in action in your own electorate uh, in the recent Queensland floods, uh, where I visited as uh, the then Minister for Defence with uh, some of the troops who were helping on the ground and the empathy that you demonstrated toward your constituents, uh, the respect with which uh, uh, they responded to you, the engagement when we went into the community centre. Uh, it was obvious that on the ground uh, you had uh, a great deal of kudos and uh, that is a great credit to you, and I know that you will bring those qualities into uh, this job also. It is an incredibly important role that you take up as the 32nd Speaker in this 47th Parliament, and I pay tribute uh, to, uh, to your uh, predecessors, as I say, but the standard now has been set by the member for Casey, and we uh, expect big things of you. The uh, first Labor Speaker, Charles MacDonald, was chosen uh, uh, in this House of Representatives. Uh, Bob, you weren't here then. Uh, I know you interject like you were, but and it was touch and go, but 1910, you were not here. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, Speaker MacDonald said, and I quote, I intend to act with absolute fairness to all parties and trust that I shall perform the duties appertaining to my office and recognise the responsibilities attached to it in a way which will do credit to the Chamber, to the Parliament and to Australia. And I know that you will follow uh, in that spirit uh, as you take this high office. On behalf of the Coalition, I extend to you uh, congratulations and every success in this role.